Hi everyone, how are you? Uh, it's gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna answer a question I get on my apps a lot, um, especially with, by young entrepreneurs. Uh, and that is, how do I start my own nightclub? I don't know, I mean, I never started my own nightclub, but uh, here's the mistake people make, right? So they, they kind of start right away. The first thing is, how do you start your own nightclub? What really happens is you gotta um, start your own parties and rent out the nightclub because having the nightclub is very, 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 very expensive. I mean, you gotta get the whole space and then you gotta manage the space. It's like, I mean, it's a far more difficult thing than just putting on parties, promoting the parties, and then, you know, like individual days, right? Um, getting DJs to play there um, and then promoting it. And it's far easier. And so, I mean, and if you've seen any of my videos about like how to start a restaurant, how to start a bar, you are very familiar, you should watch those if you haven't, because you'll be very familiar with the difficulties of having your own place. The great thing about being able to rent out that space is that you don't need to do any of the challenging parts, like the really challenging parts, like coming up with like hundreds of thousands of dollars for their space and, you know, the remodeling and all the lease issues and the legal issues and all. You don't have to deal with any of that. You already have the space because there's people, there's venues out there, you know? So you don't need to actually open a nightclub of your own, really. You, you can just start doing your parties. And what that gives you is it gives you a low risk entry into this business so that you can see how it is going to be for you, right? I mean, if you start your own nightclub, I mean, you'll have to really, I mean, you can't just quit it. Like, if it's not working out for you, you'll be, you, you'll really stuck. I mean, you can't just close it down. I mean, you lose so much money. But just renting out your physical space and have venues and putting on your own parties there, I mean, it's, you can quit at any time. And if you don't like it, but if it's working for you, you can keep growing it and growing it and, you know, grow your like list of people who typically come to the parties and figure out how to promote that those events better and better and get more and more kind of bigger and bigger parties. And then if you feel like you're still one, you have the good momentum and you're still so excited about it, just like you were excited about it in the beginning, then, you know, if, if you're growing, if you're growing into having your own um, place, then that transition becomes, it feels very natural. Uh, but certainly it will take a lot of work and people have to start to know you and to recognize you locally um, to you have to build up a, a big audience for yourself and, and a name for yourself at which point it will really make sense for you to get your own nightclub and before that I mean you can make a, you can make still a lot of money putting on your own events and you don't need to risk any of the money um, to actually open your own nightclub. So that would be the progression that I would recommend. Um, and you can start putting on your parties like immediately, right? Whereas if you had to open your own space, oh my God, you would have to wait so long to get the space, to get the money, to get the space, to get all the licenses, to get the remodeling. I mean, it will take months and maybe a year, right? Uh, especially if you need to raise money, like God knows how long that will take for every business is different. But to put on your own parties, you can start doing that stuff like early, right? Like you can start doing it like literally today, right? Look look up the venues that are available in your local area, plan something a couple of months in advance, start figuring out how to promote it, and there you go, right? That you, you can see, you can test it out, whether you'll be able to, to be successful in this business and very little risk. So that's what I recommend uh, if you're thinking, if you want, if you have a dream to like start your own nightclub kind of a thing, that's the progression I would really recommend um, it's, it's least risk um, and you get to learn um, how to run this business without actually losing all the money up front, right? Without actually investing it and I mean you'll actually be able to start because a nightclub will just take so much capital and most people just don't have the resources or cannot get that kind of money um, raised. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if it was. Uh, you can feel free to comment. I see the comments. I'll reply. Um, and please subscribe. If it was helpful, um, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you are looking to start a business, I created mobile apps that help you
start your business. They cover business ideas, business planning, marketing, and fundraising, and they cover and they're available on problemio.com. Uh, and if you search for Problemio in any of the app stores, iOS, Android, Kindle, Nook, uh, you'll find the apps there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.